So in the last video, we got this length of a string, and now we're gonna finally, finally be printing that string into the terminal. So as you can see here, uh, the definition uh, he get, he gives for the print string function is accepts a pointer to a null terminated string and prints it to std out. std out is the standard output. What does that mean? Well, in Linux, everything is treated like a file, even your screen. So when we want to print something, we tell the kernel, hey, write this data to the file descriptor with number one. Every file has a file descriptor. So in Linux, the file descriptor with number one refers to the terminal or std out or standard output. File descriptors are just integer IDs. Uh, zero is input, one is output, two is error. We use them to a target where our data should go. So with that out, out of the way, I hopefully can uh, explain what I'm doing more clearly. So let's go. So for us to write something on the screen, we need the write system call. And the write system call, as the table says, uses a few register, a little bit more than the exit system call. Basically, RAX will get the value of the file descriptor, sorry, the value of the system call, uh, RDI will get the value of the file descriptor, in this case, unsigned int. This FD stands for file description, descriptor. RSI will get our string, our uh, buffer of characters, and RDX will get the size that we're gonna write into the standard output. So that's why we did the string length first, then we're gonna write to the string, so we don't need to grab it later on. So let's go to our code. Okay, as you can see, the only difference here is that I remove the call from string length to the, from the start label because we're gonna be using it in the print string function. This is our label for the print string function. And now, uh, something that we need to do is to save the value from our string because when we call string length, the value of RDI, which is the one that contains the buffer, buffer of characters or string, will be mutated. And we need to keep the integrity because we're gonna use it later on on RSI. So to guarantee that, we're gonna push into the stack. Stack is basically where var variables or return addresses are stored uh, during the execution of code. So we're gonna push into the stack whatever is on RDI, that's actually our string. And then we're gonna call, safely call string length. String length. And now, since as we saw in the table, what uses our string is RSI, we're gonna pop from the stack, get the topmost element from the stack, which is our string, and, address, uh, and assign it to RSI. We do that by doing pop RSI. That's perfect. Now, we have RSI, and in RAX, we have the length of our string. And remember, as we saw here, we need to pass that to RDX, since it's the size. So let's do that by moving uh, value in RAX to RDX. Perfect. Now, uh, let's see what we need to do now. We need to change the value of RDI to one, that is the file descriptor that we wish, and finally, RAX to one, since it's the right system call. Okay, so now in here we can call, we can move and then we can call print string. And then do this to pass the RDI to RAX and just exit. 
Actually, I'm gonna change this. RDI, since our code has zero errors, I'm gonna pass just zero, which is basically saying that everything is fine. It's the, the status, exit status of my program. So, okay. So now we, we make all, and this should work just fine. This is a test string. 